Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Tadpole in the Hole. That's right, we're doing a miniaturized version of Toad in the Hole, featuring small and adorable breakfast sausage. And in a shocking plot twist, we're gonna add some kale to the Dutch baby pool our little breakfast sausage tadpoles are gonna be swimming in, which might sound strange, but it tasted amazing, and of course makes this more nutritious. And I think it makes it look more like something a tadpole would be swimming in. So with that, let's go ahead and get started by discussing baking dish options. Right, just because I'm using this oval baking dish doesn't mean you have to. Right, you could use a similarly sized rectangular one or something round like this cast iron pan. Okay, as long as your batter's about a half inch deep when you pour it in, you're gonna be good. Or since this recipe makes two portions, we could just put both in something larger like a pie dish or a small casserole and that will also work. And then once our baking dish choice is made, we can move on to prep some kale. And I'm using some Tuscan style kale, also known as dino kale, although any kind of braising greens would work. So that's up to you. I mean, you are after all the Billy Joel of what goes in your tadpole's hole, but this is my favorite. And for some recipes like soup, it wouldn't really matter. But for this, I think we wanna remove that tough rib that goes down the center of the leaf which is pretty easily done by simply dragging it through your fingers and stripping off all that tender, delicious foliage. Or is it foliage? Either way, once that's done, we will leave for the stove where we will transfer our kale into some boiling water where we're only gonna cook it for about three or four minutes. And one thing to pay attention to, that kale's gonna wanna float to the top is the bubbles from that boiling water get trapped between the leaves. So make sure you're pushing that down with your spider which is what we call these things in the business, or just some tongs would also work. But the point is keep those greens in the boiling water best you can. And like I said, we'll boil those for just three or four minutes or until the leaves soften and just start to get tender. At which point we're gonna fish them out into some cold water, which is gonna stop the cooking. And no, this doesn't have to be ice water. Or right, save those ice cubes for your drinks. Just some cold, fresh tap water will be fine. And then what we'll do once our kale's had that cold plunge is drain the water off. And then we'll wad up our greens in our hands and squeeze out as much water as we can. Since nobody, and I mean nobody, wants a watery tadpole in a hole. And that's it. All we're left to do is go ahead and chop this up, which I'm going to do by cutting across every half inch or so. And then we'll turn the pile and cut across the other way. And that's it. Other than removing any tougher parts of the rib we missed, our kale is now ready to use and we can move on to prep our sausage, which we will do by browning it in about a tablespoon of butter set over medium heat. And we're actually doing two things here, and I just told you the first one. But besides browning the sausage, we are also, and probably more importantly, infusing that butter with breakfast sausage flavor, which is one of the keys to this dish. And that's because, speaking of dish, we're gonna use this butter to grease whatever we're gonna bake our tadpole in the holes in, and it's gonna provide way more flavor than if we just greased our dishes with regular plain butter. So we'll go ahead and brown our sausages for a couple minutes on both sides. Assuming that is you're using brown and serve sausage, which I am. All right, if you're cooking fresh raw sausage, it's of course gonna take you a couple extra minutes. But regardless, once our sausage is browned, we'll go ahead and divide that butter in the pan into our baking dishes. And we'll go ahead and spread that over the bottoms, but we also wanna grease the sides as well. So at some point we'll lose the spoon, and we'll get in there with our fingertips. We will very thoughtfully grease our baking dishes all the way around. And once we're done, we will reward ourselves by licking our fingers. And that's it, once our dishes are prepped, we'll set our sausage aside and we'll move on to this extremely easy batter, which starts with two large whole eggs, to which we will add just a little touch of maple syrup. And not only does that obviously work with breakfast sausage, but that little bit of sweetness really helps balance the bitterness from the greens. So to me, that's kind of a key ingredient. And then we'll also want to add some salt, as well as some freshly ground black pepper, and of course, a few shakes of cayenne, so they know this is one of our recipes. And that's it, we'll go ahead and dump in our flour, and we'll take a whisk and give this a mix, starting off nice and slowly, so as not to knock all that flour out of the bowl. But once it starts mixing in, we can shift to high gear, and as soon as that flour's been incorporated, We'll go ahead and toss in our last ingredient, some whole milk. And I know, in our Toad in the Hole recipe, I told you to mix the milk and flour all at once, but that was mostly to mess with Marco Pierre White. 
and it actually will work if you just dump everything in together. But proper technique wise, this is probably the way to go. And then once that's mixed nice and smooth, we'll go ahead and dump in our cal, and then we'll switch to a fork and stir that in. And the reason for the fork is if you try to do this with a whisk, you'll get a whole bunch of cal stuck in between the wires of the whisk that will take you about 10 minutes to remove. So I just find giving this a fork in a lot easier. And that's it, once that's mixed, we'll go ahead and grab a ladle and we'll distribute that between our two baking dishes. If we're doing individual portions, that is. Like I said, you can put both these portions in one pie dish. And again, it really doesn't matter what you bake these in, as long as after you've transferred in the batter, you have a depth of about a half inch, give or take. So we'll go ahead and divvy that up as evenly as we can, at which point we're ready to tadpole our holes. All right, so we'll transfer in our sausage, and we'll arrange those nicely centered and equally spaced. And that's it, these are now ready to transfer into the center of a totally cold oven. That's right, our oven is not preheated. And what we'll do once that's in is set our heat to 500 degrees, and we'll set our timer for 25 minutes. Assuming that is you're baking yours in something similar, and about 25 minutes later, if everything's gone according to plan, our tadpole in the hole should look like this, which I think are gorgeous and extremely inviting, and I would have absolutely no problem eating these as is. But I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade mine with a perfectly poached egg, topped with a touch of cayenne, which I think makes this more of a complete meal. Plus I get to do the old, old runny yolk money shot. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. And that's it, after taking a few contractually obligated pictures I grabbed a fork and dug in, to what is without a doubt my new favorite breakfast and lunch, and dinner, and snack, and of course brunch. Oh, and by the way, I left this in the ramekin because I thought it would look better in the pictures, but these are probably easier to eat if you just slide that out onto a plate, which I really should have done since I'm kind of struggling here. I know what's new, and I probably should be using a knife also, but I was way too hungry, and once I start eating something, I do not stop, as anyone who's invited me over to a dinner party will attest. But anyway, forget about how we're eating this, and let's get into what we're eating, which is basically a breakfast sausage flavored Dutch baby with just that little hint of maple sweetness, which works absolutely brilliantly with that cal. All right, it's called a bitter green, which is a terrible name, and one of the reasons people don't eat them, but the little bit of bitterness they do have really elevates and amplifies the sweetness and savoriness of the dish, and I thought this all worked perfectly together. But if you're scared, you could leave it out or go with more of a beginner's green like spinach. It just might not be quite as flavorful. And above and beyond this being an adorable miniaturized version of Toad in the Hole, I have to say flavor-wise, breakfast sausage might actually work better than the traditional bangers. So I really truly did love everything about this, which is why I really do hope you give this a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.